Hello fellow gamers, this is Rajumbo in another vlog. Uh, and I just got a call from one of the thrift shops that I'm going to apply to. Uh, I gotta make a call on them around 10 or 11, but uh, they texted me at like 9.17 in the afternoon. Like I was sleeping by then, but it seems okay. I just got to call them today to see what's up and I see if I get a job at a thrift store, which I can't tell which one, but it's just a local thrift store. And I think it's from Saviors or something. I don't know. I applied via Indeed, but pretty much I've been trying to look for work for the past since May of last year and it's been really difficult on me. My birthday's coming up on the 19th. I'm going to be 28, become become a boomer. Well, almost becoming a wizard, but yeah. Pretty much I'm still becoming a nerd on technology and all that. Um, I'm wearing my hat today just because it just I just want to see what people view this video on and see if people will click through it or something. But yeah, um, so far I'm doing okay with depression, anxiety. Um, depression's still there, it's just, it's just being like a little bit agitated right now. It's just like, I don't feel like recording Skyrim videos or any other videos that I could think of, but Skyrim, I might do one today, but I gotta deal with the interview on the phone, mostly. And if I get hired, I'll probably work there. And I, and the bus route required to get there is, like, pretty easy to get to. Um, some subjects on my past history. When I used to work at Goodwill, I'm gonna talk about my work history, um, at Goodwill, I always was a very good employee there. I got yelled at a couple times, but not really. But only got yelled at by my co-workers, but not by managers or assistant managers or anything like that. Uh, I wouldn't say the job was bad, but sometimes I realize there were firing people left and right every day. And I feel like when I worked there, I didn't get fired until I sweared too much or something. And swearing was cause of my Asperger's syndrome uh, due to having a tick or something. I was experiencing a tick or something and I said an inappropriate joke and got fired for it mostly. It's just like, um, it's just like, it happens, and sometimes you can't get over it, and sometimes you blame on other things, like, oh, I wasn't taking my meds, you know, which is bad, which, yeah, I cried during that fucking way bus ride back, you know, like, when I was back home, I fucking went into fucking rage mode, like, I never felt angry before, but... Yeah, when I lost that job, like, it fucking made me upset and I'm not going to make any more money and and trying to save for said house. Um, this year I've been doing pretty well with income from the government and I got my Medicare, Medicare benefits payback or something from Albany Care. Uh, I don't know if this was from Albany Care or if I paid Medicare too much money for treatment while inside of a intermediate care facility like a nursing home. Uh, pretty much it's just, yeah, I don't recommend staying 16 months to lose your insanity with like, like just because you have to deal with other people like. If I was in there by myself, I would have been fine. I got discharged immediately, but then you got to deal with the other 500 residents at that building that the max capacity could hold. And the thing with that building is it's not up to code. Like, I think there's a few issues with, like, some of the bathtubs not having hot waters. And then there was some with, like, had hot water, but not all had hot water. 
And then the freaking heat was unbearable, really unbearable hot, like way too hot to be, um, be inside the building. Like they need, Chicago needs to do something about the city ordinance. I think they broke a few city ordinance law during the winter time because on how hot it was, it was so hot compared, like it was way too hot for standard, like recommendation standard was beyond that. If you're on the second floor, you'd be even hotter. You had to open up a window because of how hot it was during the middle of winter at negative 20 degrees. And the freaking building was so hot, it was just ridiculous. Like, and then when you had to deal with AC, like, I usually set my AC at 72. I don't care if it's at 68. Like, I'm not used to the fucking super cold because of, like, medication-wise. Like, when I was on different medication, like Celexa, I was having, like, it was, it was so cold in the building, I was started shivering. I always had to wear a hoodie out in the summer, and yeah, I don't know what was causing that chill. Like, it's usually because I feel like that building was haunted by a bunch of ghosts and shit when I was under psychosis and shit. And then there's, like, a few times where... I was in the building and people were bitching about the cold. It's, it's just like being in fucking prison, dude. Like, but it's not like prison. It sort of is because you lose your freedom for one. You, you lose your independent and freedom. You can't escape the building until you're required to sign out. Like, it's like you have to ask permission to go outside, basically. If you sign out without permission, you'd be on, like, they'll blast the code white and they'll chase after you like you're a convict and shit. They chased after me when I blew a code white and they convinced me to come back and it's just like, yeah, I guess. I, I just needed to go outside. I had enough with, like, fucking anxiety and it's just like the people inside there fucking caused me to go insane, dude. And after that, breakout they sent me to thoric and shit which was due to my behavior which wasn't being any better because of how how much verbal abuse i had been taken dude like like a lot of abuse goes inside the building like the residents will cause cause that to you dude like it's not a safe place, and when you had to deal with other people's problem, you had to deal with my, I had to deal with my own problem before I start with there. And then they ask, they'll beg for change, like, do you have a dollar? Do you have a dollar? Like, no, I don't. Like, I don't, because I already gave you a dollar, but you haven't paid me back, and then they never pay you back and shit for the three dollars that you had left in your wallet. And when all that three dollars was gone, the they'll t they never pay you back. I had a friend of mine, or Nicholas Cage, who never paid me back a dollar for a donut that he purchased off of me. So that's why I don't. That's why I don't trust people inside of those facility because they'll most likely they'll never pay you back and. If you give them a large amount of money, they'll definitely never pay you back. Because I know they only get $60 a month on, like, stuff for their benefits. And sometimes even their parents pay them or their relatives pay them money, you know. My, uh, like, the time I've seen, like, people begging for changes, ones that get money from their relatives, like, back... Back when I was there, like, everyone got their stimulus, everyone was spending their own money, but in, in the hindsight of that, like, they, they already wasted all their stimulus money on useless shit, shit, like, clothes and brand new clothes, the underwear, like, laptops, computers, that, that sometimes they'll just sell for drug money, basically, they just spend it on drugs and shit. And I've seen that before happen. When I was there, 
I didn't spend a damn dime on my stimulus money. Like, I, I kept that 2000 until I needed it, until I move out to my own apartment. Like, if I was gonna spend, like, $2,000 on my stimulus money, I would have, like, kept that with me until I need, need, like, stuff like body wash, deodorant, toothpaste. I only spent, like, $10 of $60 a month on that stuff and my sister never paid me back because she said you already have money You don't need money <laughs> But pretty much it's just like you had to deal with like People asking you for money and that's annoying like I didn't tell how much money I had I, I could lie like basically and people fucking flash their money like money money, you know like I hate that. Like, I remember fucking being tortured when I had no money. And look at me now. I make more money than the rest of my fucking friends at Albany care. Like, uh, like sometimes you got to save money. You don't fucking give it out or loan it to anyone. Like, you got to fucking save it, invest it into stock markets. Like, I opened up an Acorn account, for example. And I already got $7 of interest off my... Um, off my uh, Acorns account, investment account, and sometimes I'm investing in the future by opening a Roth IRA or Acorn Later account, which makes profit from that. Uh, pretty much, you have to, like, basically not spend too much like crazy people would. Like, I don't know. Do I consider myself crazy? Probably yes, I was batshit insane for 16 months, but that didn't change my mind on how much I should spend on stuff, but yeah, if you're in a nursing home by any chance and you're about low self-esteem, like I've been feeling low self-esteem recently and that sucks, but when you feel like that shit, you always know you Talk to someone, talk to your relatives. If your relatives don't answer, just tell them, like, hey, why are you recalling me? Like, you ever felt, like, abandonment and shit from your sister or your family or while you're in a fucking nursing home? Like, it sucks. I felt like my grandpa when he was in a nursing home. And that's the same shit that happens. Like, no one here to visit you or no one here to see you every day. Like, it sucks to be in that position. Like, you feel like you're abandoned, basically. I don't know. Do I deal with abandonment? Probably. But I live on my own. Deal with my own shit now. And I've been thinking about putting a down payment on the house. So, pretty much, I've been working, finding work. I've been dedicated to get my ass off the couch every day. Been going for walks. I went for a walk yesterday in, like, Addison or something near the Wiggly Field. I went to Wiggly Field, walk around a bit, went south. But I think for my birthday, I'm going to go to that A's restaurant. But my uh, medical doctor said I have to get off the fried food because of how much uh, cholesterol I had in me at that time when I had my blood taken, like. It was so high that they're going to do a uh, FU test or FU test or something. I think they have to check my check me for colon cancer. I could possibly have colon cancer and I don't even know it. Um, if I do, I have to basically go through chemo or something. I don't know. I don't know if I have cancer yet and I haven't decided if I have leaky gut or if my cholesterol is unstable, but I've been trying to like uh, go for walks more often. But today I'm gonna go for a walk and try to exercise, at least try to walk a block or something. It's just like, I don't know, it's just been, I've been like low self esteem recently. It, it sucks. So yeah, I think this is about ended here. Um, most of the time when when you're feeling like shit, 
hit the fan type of shit. And, like, you usually have to go through, like, therapy or counseling, which helps. Um, you could try to do ex- breathing exercise, like, think of, like, like, try to take deep breaths, like, one second and breathe out. You can also try to, like, when you're having anxiety, you can always count everything that's black, like the fan, the TV, the picture frames, the tree in the picture frame, like, and the uh, 3D printer spiel, spiel behind me, basically, like the filament on it. You can think of anything to calm down your anxiety. And it's just like, yeah, I think I'm about done here. So yeah, uh, I'm going to upload more content soon. Um, I might upload an episode of Skyrim, try to beat the final boss. Um, I still haven't got to the point where I have to travel all the way back to, um, back to um, whatever it's called. Back to uh, White Run to capture the dragon. That's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and bye.